Look at this smart boy. Let me see your haircut. <laughs> you look great, Callum. Yeah. So I picked up. Yeah. What did uh What did the lady do when she cut your hair? Don't know. You don't know. You had some funny faces. He was like. Yeah, he looked like that. Make that face. He was moody. He looked really moody. Mom, can I do my calendar now? What number is it today? Twelve. Yeah. The twelfth day of Christmas my true love gave to me. Uh -oh. A partridge in a pear tree. Did you get it? Linnea? Mommy's Alright. So what does that say? Okay, hold on. Linnea, get your chocolate. I have so what to help does Linnea. That say? It says Got it. Can you juggle three snowballs? Juggle three snowballs? Yeah. Do you know how you juggle? Here, I'll put the camera down and tell you. Look. Can you juggle three snowballs? <laughs> you guys are juggling. <laughs> uh, no, you have one every day. Just one. Just one per day, okay? Good morning. Let me see your jumper. It says Santasaurus. Today's Christmas jumper day because Santa's coming to Callum's school. Santa? Yeah. I've never seen Santa. Yeah. And what? And it's your Christmas gift shop today, so you can pick out a Christmas present for mommy and papa. Oh. And a jolly jar. Okay? And you're having a special Christmas lunch with your whole school. Good morning everybody, I hope you're doing well. I am in Marks and Spencer right now just looking at Christmas cards because I need to pick up a few for Callum's teachers. I volunteered to handle all the teacher gifts. We did amazing vouchers for all the teachers, like gift cards. Um, and I did it online through like a, a multi-retailer kind of thing so that they could pick and choose which store they use it for. What's on your shirt? <gasps> what do you have? Rudolph. Rudolph? Yeah, that is Rudolph's nose. That is Rudolph's nose. You're right. Yeah. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So Callum is at school. Do you want to get out and look at some ornaments? He's going to have a really exciting day. He's got, first of all, he's dressed because today is Christmas jumper day at school. So he's wearing a little dinosaur Christmas jumper. And then Santa Claus is coming to the school and delivering each child a little book. Um, woo! which will be really cute and sweet. My goodness, Nay. And then at his school, they're also doing like a special Christmas lunch um, for all the children where they all sit together and have lunch. And I'm really excited for him. He was really excited about going to school. Get your tree. That's a cute little tree, huh? Yeah, she's a little. Mm-hmm. She's just a mommy. Just a mommy. And then, later tonight, my mother-in-law and her partner, they will be coming in and spending a couple of days with us, like an early Christmas, and I think it'll be really nice to have them. London is so nice to visit, but I think it's also really special to visit at Christmas time, because you just have this added layer of Christmas lights and the little Christmas markets and just all the little, there's always something new to see, but especially around the holidays, it's just a really nice time, so. I'm excited to do some of the Christmas light sightseeing with them and just, yeah, it'll be really, really nice. Christmas. 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 I like these little trees. Those are pretty. Linnea. Linnea. <laughs> it's not funny. Oh, I'm sorry. Come here. Come on, I'm sorry. Sorry for laughing. You're welcome. <laughs> a little goofball. Whoa. Whoa. 
Whoa. Today took a different kind of turn. While I was out shopping with Linnea today and, and getting errand, running errands and getting things for, for our company coming tonight, I got a message on WhatsApp. Um, I'm in this group for the school. It's the parent run fundraising committee that, it's actually a charity, and they just do such incredible, incredible things. And I'm just constantly amazed by the brilliance and the compassion and the love don't want to cry. I'm moved so much by the love that that this group has and of course it's it's made up of parents who want the school to be the best it can be and I anyways I got a message that um, the kids were buying everything for the the holiday gift shop and that's great that's such a good problem to have but we're running out of stuff to sell <laughs> to the kids so um, I went back over to Sainsbury's and I loaded up on a bunch of like men's socks and Christmas ornaments and stuff like that. And then quickly with Linnea went to the school and brought everything and I saw Callum going to lunch and today at lunch they're having this full Christmas meal with like Christmas turkey and vegetables and potatoes and Yorkshire puddings, like the typical um, like the typical kind of roast meal and I saw Cal with his little tray and he sat down at the table and he didn't he didn't notice me I just saw him from a distance and then I went back upstairs and I brought all the stuff to the to the other parents who were actually running the shop today then when I came back down I saw Callum's Callum's teacher and she was telling me about how excited the kids were that Santa Claus came and um, you could just see how her eyes lit up talking about how the children were so excited to see Santa because Santa came today to the school and delivered a book to each and every child in the school, which is incredible. That was like Merry Christmas to the children. And I, I mean, I knew that. I knew that all that was happening, but I just kind of put it out of my mind because I had other things that I needed to do today. And it was really special to look and see Callum actually sitting down now and eating his lunch with his friends wearing his little Christmas jumper and all the little children are all excited and they're eating and just having the best time and I talked to his teacher and she said you know not every child gets to go to Santa's Grotto so it was really special that they got to see Santa Claus today and Santa Santa brought them something and um you know It, it always, um, it moves me in so many ways when people do those simple acts of kindness. And to give children, to give children a magical Christmas is something that, that means the world to them. Because what it does is it gives them magic and it gives them hope. And I get really, really emotional when I talk about when I talk about children's welfare and I talk about the well-being of kids because children deserve to be happy and they deserve to feel safe and loved and I know that that's not the case for every child and I know that um, I know that it's a huge huge thing it's a gift to be able to live in a home with heat to have a roof over your head at all I mean I know I know how fortunate we are, how fortunate our kids are. So it's like you feel this real pain in your heart because you you just want everyone to be okay. Um, but you're also filled with gratitude that there are so many people out there who who believe in the same thing you believe in, that every child deserves the magic of the season. And you know, go out of their way to donate things to make events like today possible. It's really made me think a lot about starting my business and the, the way that I, I want it to be. And first and foremost, I want this company to be something that, that helps so many people. I, I would be very disappointed at the end of my life 
if all I did was just set my sights on making money and not give back. It's really made me feel like, like I know exactly what principles I want to base this company off of and exactly the kind of principles that I feel are really important as somebody to lead the company. And I know that there will be really difficult decisions to make, um, really, really difficult decisions to make. And I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not underestimating that. I know that there will come a time when things are really difficult to do, but I hope that I stick to those principles that really mean something to me because I think as long as you follow what you know in your heart is right, you'll be okay. I've been taught so many lessons uh, my whole lifetime really, but I feel like even in this, the, the, these last two years, I have such a clear understanding of what it means, the responsibility that when it comes time for this company to start making money, the responsibility that I have to the people that work for me, for the community that we live in, for the whole entire world, I feel like I know exactly what I want to do and how I want this company to to give back. And it's so funny because I feel like I need to make a lot of money not so that I can buy fancy things, but so that I can give it back. Hi, Callum. Yeah. Hi, how was school? Good. You had a great day, didn't you? Yeah, I was a long, long time going to school. Yep. Did you learn stuff? Yeah, I did. I don't know what I did. What did you do? Who came to your school today? Uh, Santa Claus. Santa Claus came? Yeah, Santa. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> and you had Christmas dinner? Oh, that's fun. I'm so happy you had a great day. Now we're going to go to your friend for a little Christmas party with some other friends. Busy day today.